Hi, let's start learning about Moodle by taking a tour of a typical Gratz College Moodle course page. Chances are the course you will be working on will look something like this before you start. This is a typical basic Moodle course format. Um, it won't look like the it doesn't look like the uh, the Moodle training class that I'm facilitating. Moodle is very robust, and as you get to know it, you'll be able to change its appearance. What you should keep in mind is that just as content is important, the way it is delivered can impact on the ease of use and motivation of your students. We'll go into design in the next few weeks. Anyway, following Julie Andrews' lead, let's start at the very beginning and at the very top. I'm going to click on my name, or your name in your class, and you will see my home, my profile, and logout. If you click on my home, this takes you to your Gratz College homepage. Just all the courses you're involved with, all the courses you're teaching or taking. You click on the course you're taking at the moment, and you go back to where you started. Click on the name again. You have your profile, which is my profile. We'll go into this in a little bit. Log out. To make this um, dashboard go away, just click on your name. Go home. Go back to the class. And here we are. On the extreme left, you're going to see some links in a row. In Moodle technical language, they are called breadcrumbs. They are navigational tools. Click on each link and you'll be taken somewhere else. The last link is the one, the furthest on your right is the one where you are now. To the right side is the magical turn editing on button. This button needs to be turned on to be, needs to be clicked like this in order to add content to to delete content whenever you you're editing your page that that this is the button that you need to use it's your your on off feature if you will below that are modules called blocks each block has a specific purpose some you'll use more than others some you won't use at all here's a quick overview search Search forums, it's a search engine in which you can find specific topics in your course forums. More on that later. Latest news. This is where any course updates that you have posted would appear. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Upcoming events. If you're using your class calendar, upcoming important dates would appear here. Recent activity is really important. This is where you and your students will see the most recent updates and submissions in your class. This is an easy way to follow form participation and assignment submissions. Navigation, where you can access and edit your personal profile and communicate with your students. Administration is where you can edit general course settings and monitor activity in your class. Support information is it gives you the phone number of the Gratz Tech Support um, Desk. Messages is where you can see the messages that you've received from students, where your students can see messages that, that you sent them, or where they've seen, um, they've sent one another. People is a straightforward way of communicating with your students. I'm going to start with that. You click on the participants link. And as you can see, there's a list of all the students in the class. This is a dummy class. A mock class is only one, me. Um, you can select by clicking the box next to the individual students or select all the students. You can click on choose, send a message, type in your message. Hello there. You can preview your message. And here's what it looks like. And if you want to update it, you can update it. I'm going to add an exclamation point. Preview again. And send message. And I just sent myself a, an email list, an email. Um, at the bottom of that, I don't know if you noticed, there was something called remove. That's if you want to remove the message, that's how you do it. To go back to the course page, click here on the breadcrumbs. And here you are. Now, if you go to the navigation block and click on the arrow next to current course, 
to open it, click on Participants, you get to the exact same view. That's what's great about Moodle. It, it, it's, it has a built-in redundancy that allows you to do the same things a number of different ways. The blocks don't always have to be visible. You can make them go away. You can minimize them then by clicking the Minimizing button. Or you can make them disappear entirely by docking them, by clicking on this little button here, Dock Latest News Block, Dock Upcoming Events. This way, it's put to the side. You can always bring them back by clicking on the Undock button. The center of the course page is where the course content appears. This will be the focus of the next few weeks. See you soon.